Science 5, Quarter 2, Week 1 to 2, Human Reproductive System. This lesson will help you become aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. For our opening activity, encircle the appropriate word and describe the role of your father and mother in the family. Paste the picture of your mother or draw a mother figure and paste it in the space provided. Paste also the picture of your father or draw a father figure and paste it in the space provided. My mother is male, female, she blanks. My father is male, female, he blanks. This is an example of an answer in that activity. My mother is female. She cooks, washes our clothes, and most especially takes care of us. My father is male. He works for us. He provides us what we need. Males and females have unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens and meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study our reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. For our first learning task, study the two pictures and identify if it is a male or female reproductive system. Look at picture 1 and picture 2. What is the male reproductive organ? What about the primary reproductive organ in female? And these are the correct answers. The male reproductive system is testis or testes, and the female reproductive organ is ovary or ovaries. Learning task number two. Identify the parts of a male reproductive organ based on the jumbled letters. You can also choose the word from the box and before choosing the word, encircle all the parts of male and female reproductive system. We have urethra, uterus, erectile tissue, ovary, vas deferens, epididymis, endometrium, ureter, scrotum, uterus, penis, cervix, testis, oviduct, seminal vesicle, vagina, prostate gland, fimbrae, and bladder. Male reproductive system, front view. Female reproductive system, front view. And these are the correct answers. We have bladder, number one vas deferens, number two prostate gland, number three urethra, number four epididymis, number five penis, number six ureter, number seven seminal vesicle, number eight erectile tissue, number nine scrotum, and number ten testes. For number 11, uterus, 12, endometrium, 13, fimbriae, 14, vagina, 15, ovary, 16, cervix, and 17, ovida. Parts of the male reproductive organ. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. The test is Plural testes as the primary organ is tasked to make sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. 
Epididymis is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. On the other hand, the vas deferens is a long tube that connects the testis and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. Ejaculation is the process of releasing sperm out of the system. Seminal vesicle is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluid containing fructose, mucose, and prostaglandins. Fruc fructose content nourishes the sperm to stay healthy. The mucus content is for cell protection, while prostaglandin content triggers uterine contraction. Prostate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen, which is due to alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. The urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen or sperm with other fluids to go outside the body through the penis. And penis has a rectal tissue that are used during mating or sex. For our third learning task, fill in the boxes of the flowchart with correct word showing how the semen is released from the male reproductive system. And this is the correct answer. From the testes, epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and urethra. Based on what you have read or listened or studied a while ago, content or connect the words that are strongly related to each other through a line. For number one, prostate gland, number two, testis, number three, seminal vesicle, number four, vas deferens, number five, urethra, and number six, epididymis. Penis, sperm, tube, mucus, alkaline fluid, and storage. And these are the correct answers. For number one, prostate gland, alkaline fluid, testis, sperm, seminal vesicle, mu mucus, vas deferens tube, urethra, penis, and epididymis storage. The female reproduct reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells, oocytes, get matured and is released. Fimbria sweeps the matured eggs to the fallopian tube or oviduct. The egg goes to the uterus wherein eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium, a lining in the uterus, thickens to do the process. Vagina is a passage going to the uterus. It is where penis is inserted and menstrual blood goes out. For learning task number four, Fill in the boxes of flowchart with correct word or part of the female reproductive system showing how egg matures and being fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or goes out of the body in the form of blood. And these are the correct answers. From the ovary, frimbri, fallopian tube, uterus, then vagina. Based on what you have read, are studied on the parts of female reproductive system, connect the words that are strongly related by putting a line. Number one, vagina. Number two, uterus. Number three, endometrium. Number four, fimbria. And number five, fallopian tube. Sweeping the eggs, path towards uterus, lining for egg implantation, penis insertion, and egg development. And these are the correct answers. For vagina, we have penis insertion, two, uterus, egg development, 
three, endometrium, lining for egg implantation, number four, fimbria, sweeping the eggs, and number five, fallopian tube, path towards uterus. For learning task number five, write MR if word is a part of the male reproductive system, otherwise write FR for female reproductive system. In case the part can be found both system, write both. Number one, urethra. Number two, uterus. Number three, rectal tissue. Number four, ovary. Number five, vas deferens. Number six, epididymis. Seven, endometrium. Eight, ureter. Nine, scrotum. Ten, uterus. Eleven, penis. Twelve, cervix. Thirteen, testis. Fourteen, oviduct. Fifteen, vagina. Sixteen, prostate gland. Seventeen, seminal vesicle. Eighteen, fimbria. 19 urinary bladder, and 20 ureter. And these are the correct answers. Number 1, MR, 2, FR, TMR, 4, FR, 5, MR, 6, MR, 7, FR, 8, both, 9, MR, and 10, FR. 11, MR, 12, FR, 13, MR, 14, FR, 15 FR, 16 MR, 17 MR, 18 FR, and 19 and 20, both. Learning task 6, label the parts of the female and male and female reproductive system. The male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. And these are the correct answers. Number one, bladder. Number two, urethra. Number three, penis. Number four, scrotum. Number five, erectile tissue. Six, seminal vesicle. Seven, prostate gland. Eight, vas deferens. And nine, testes. Number ten, fallopian tube. Eleven, uterus. Twelve, bladder. Thirteen, urethra. 14 fimbria, 15 ovary, 16 endometrium, and 17 vagina or canal. For our last learning task, learning task 7, both males and females have roles in the community. These roles are observable in your part in your parents, especially in your father and your mother. Complete the boxes below to describe the role of your parents in your family. My father's role in the family, male, my mother's role in the family, female, and what do you think is the importance of knowing your sexuality? And this may be the answer or your answer. You may, you may also uh, give another answer. My father lays down rules and enforces it. He provides a feeling of security, both physical and emotional. My mother manages the household chores and looks after our welfare. Knowing your sexuality is important because it is part of who you are. It plays an important role in your identity and sense of self. And that concludes our lesson for week 1 to 2. Thanks for listening. Happy learning. Bye.